Hey, Flimsy Lunch Tray here, and welcome to World of Warships. As today we're going to be looking at the newest dockyard um, here in update 13.3, which is going to be Wisconsin. In the background, you see Iowa, but as Wisconsin is another Iowa class battleship. So I'm going to. Um, we're going to look at the construction, so the general dockyard information, checking out the starter packs, uh, the awards, this, that, and the other. Um, and then we're going to be getting underway here um, in the game. So, uh, let's go ahead and jump into dockyard and see what awaits us here. Alright, let's see. Take a minute to load. We should get a preview screen here. The naval shipyard. It's always nice. Uh, our department does a good job here. I know they're technically called something else, but they still do a good job in the game. Uh, tier 10 American Premium Battleship Wisconsin. High firing accuracy of the main battery. High top speed and immediate systems reload combat instructions available. If that's not a mouthful. This time the US Battleship Tier 10 Wisconsin is being built at the dockyard. The battleship is armed with highly accurate main battery guns of a relatively small caliber, has low detectability, and is equipped with the enhanced repair party consumable. The ship's comparatively small HP pool is compensated for by the availability of combat instructions that reduce her consumable cooldown time and main battery reload time. The dockyard combat mission will cease to be available in 62 days, as this video will be going up today, and the event itself will end in 90 days. So they, they add... Um, some additional days in there if you need to finish the dockyard just via only doubloons um, they make that an option for you as well so let's go ahead and close this out and let's see what we got going on here so uh let's see let's start off with um let's see do we want to start off with the rules yeah let's start off with the rules shall we what is the dockyard? Uh, and this will also cover a bit for you if you're a newer player as well. And I'll answer the question if you're a newer player to World of Warships, is this uh, worth you grinding for? What is a dockyard? The dockyard event takes you through the phases of building a ship in rewards you with Tier 10 Wisconsin upon completing those phases. Uh, the shipbuilding process comprises of 30 phases. You can progress through shipbuilding phases by completing dockyard combat missions or spinning doubloons. If you already have the West Virginia Tier 7 of uh, 40, West Virginia 44, American Battleship, you will receive three shipbuilding phrases as compensation. You can build Tier 10 Wisconsin only upon completing any two phases or more by spending doubloons or receiving compensation for West Virginia 44. So it's, if you have the West Virginia 44, you can completely grind this at a dockyard for free, but you don't get West Virginia till the 20th phase, and then you'll be rewarded those three additional shipbuilding phases. So... Um, again, it is possible to grind this for free, uh, Docker for free, if you already have West Virginia 44, but if maybe you're like most players, and maybe even myself, I don't have it. I didn't pick up the last event. I don't remember what it was, but anyhow, starter packs. Purchase starter packs at a discount to obtain rewards, completing the shipbuilding phases required to build Wisconsin. You will not be able to purchase starter packs after completing five shipbuilding phases by progressing through dockyard combat missions. Really important. I think it used to only be three, if I remember right, so it's nice to see five at least this time around, because then you might, hey, I want to go ahead and get that starter phase now. I've been playing the game a little bit, and then you're like, oh shoot, I've already passed the third shipbuilding phase. So five is good to see. You will obtain a reward for each shipbuilding phase by progressing through the shipbuilding phases. You also obtain special rewards such as 400 steel at phase 8 and West Virginia 44 at phase 20. Compensation for shipbuilding phases. If you continue to complete dockyard combat missions after you've built Wisconsin, you will receive 250 steel instead of each additional phase. So that's what I, I figured would happen when I uh, talked about it in the yesterday's, uh, or I guess it, Monday's update video. So those are the rules. Um... So let's just go ahead and let's take a, a gander here um, at the starter packs. So allow the completion of shipbuilding phases in exchange for doubloons, available only at the beginning of each ship building, uh, the shipbuilding process. So um, you will need the minimum amount of shipbuilding phases to obtain in Wisconsin is you're going to have to do uh, and buy two shipbuilding phases, which it's going to be cheapest here if you purchase the starter pack, which I'm going to do for you. Um, and then, yeah, then additional phases, of course, you do through the dockyard combat missions, which we'll also look at. 
Um, and pushing the start in a pack allows you to obtain the rewards of all phases you complete. And then, of course, they even have a more massive reward. And then the cost after five ship building phases, if you like, hey, I don't want to spend 3,200 doubloons right now um, to start off, I'll just buy it later or something like that, then you're actually going to spend 4,200 doubloons. So you save 1,000 doubloons uh, basically uh, by buying it now. Because um, otherwise, it's gonna, that's what it's going to cost per dockyard. So it's kind of been jumping around. They used to do one shipbuilding phase was 1,500, and then they were doing 1,750. And I don't remember if it actually hit 2,000 not too long ago, um, but it's going to cost you 3,200. So upon doing that, we're going to get seven days premium and a million credits. So I'm going to say yes. And then you're going to start seeing uh, this uh, start taking place. Go ahead and get rid of those things. So, and then it will tell you um, if you're very interested, like what part of the ship is being assembled. So you can see the double bottom installation of the torpedo bulkheads and frame sections in the citadel part, and then laying of the double bottom flooring, installation of the armor plate sections in the citadel part, and installation of the barbette foundations. Um, yeah, so this would be the barbette foundations there. All right, so let's go ahead and look through the rewards. Um, so we're going to go ahead and collect our rewards first and starting off. Stars and Stripes, uh, two permanent camouflages. So that's actually nice. They're not, temp they're not uh, uh, temporary. I don't know how the, the word I'm looking for there is. You can get some green economic bonuses. There'll probably be blue ones. There'll probably be some red ones as well. Um, this 400 steel at the 8th phase. Um, the Victorious permanent camouflage, you get two of them. Another seven days premium, 400 still. Flags premium container, so nice. 5,000 coal. And then we're gonna get 400 still again with two smoldering fire permanent camouflages. So a lot of permanent camouflages they're giving through uh, with this dockyard. Uh, there's your blue boosters. are gonna go through the credits, commander XP, uh, free XP, um, and so forth. And then there's your West Virginia 44 at the 20th phase. Then you're going to get 2 million credits, uh, 10,000 coal. So now we're at 15,000 coal. Still have kind of lost count. I think we're close to 2,000. It was like 800, uh, 4, 4, and 4. Right? So that's uh, 4, 800, 1,200. Yeah, 2,000 still, I think, is where we're at now. Um, and then there's going to be your red your or your rare um, or maybe it's unique expendable bonuses. I don't remember what that's termed as. And then you're going to get 15,000 coal. Uh, so then now we're looking at 30,000 coal. If I did the math right. Yeah, it's 10 and 5 before that. So 30,000 coal. And then you're going to get 400 steel again. Um, so that's going to put you at, what, 2,400 steel? And then if you have a clan perk, then you'll get a 10%, I think, on top of that. Um, so good to see. And then Wisconsin, then of course here they have, if you keep going, like let's say you just kept spinning doubloons or you bought that big massive starter pack uh, for, I think that was like nine phases and you grinded through all 30 combat uh, or all the 28 combat missions, 28 um, combat missions in the sense of 28 ship building phases, because you need minimum two, then you would get 250 steel plus beyond that. So. Don't tell me they don't sell steel in the game, because they do. <laughs> just, you can't buy it outright. They just, they, they make it available in various different ways, uh, essentially is what they're doing here. Um, da, 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 da. So I think we're going to go ahead and just hop right over into uh, looking at the combat missions at this point. So we're going to go back into port. And then I'll go ahead and I'll answer the question, if you're a new player um, to the game, is the dockyard worth trying to attempt or go for. So this is really what makes the dockyard inaccessible uh, to an extent for newer players in the game um, because it really comes down to the um, requirements of your completion criteria. Because you can see it's going to be between tier 5 uh, ships to uh, super ships. Uh, but if you're a newer player, you most likely don't have a super ship. Um, but as we kind of go through to these even more difficult ones, um, the amount of um, different things you have to achieve in the game, um, like, let's see, yeah, 12, 1.2 million uh, HP of damage upon your spotting in a carrier, right? 
Um, you get more spotting damage at the high. If you only have a tier six carrier, you got to play a lot of carrier games to get that spotting versus where you get those damage faster at tier eight and tier 10 or a super CV uh, as an example. Or what about 42 million potential damage? Um, if you have a tier six battleship or let alone a tier five battleship, you're looking at a lot of matches to be able to reach uh, 42 million potential damage or th even 30 million potential damage in a cruiser, right? If you have a tier five, tier six cruiser, that's a really long grind um, or help your team with spotting with a destroyer, uh, 500,000. Uh, so there are some much more difficult combat missions when you get into the higher tiers or earn 18 million credits. It's hard to earn a lot of credits at tier five, tier six. Um, so if you're a brand new player to the game, I'm just gonna be honest with you. It's gonna be difficult. It's gonna be um, almost impossible not not impossible but very close to if you've just started playing the game let's say in the last few months now let's say you've been playing the game a lot in the last few months and you have a tier 8 battleship you've got a tier 8 destroyer you've got a tier 8 cruiser because the ship class requirements are really important to that so let's say you have the bare minimum you have it let's say a tier 8 battleship tier 8 cruiser a tier 8 destroyer it's going to be possible for you then to do that um just plainly speaking okay Plainly speaking, it's going to be possible for you, but if you've just started and you only have a tier 5, a tier 6, you haven't even got tier 7 yet, it's going to be really difficult because then you're going to be looking at throwing a lot of money at the game. Um, you know, maybe you're like, okay, I can grind these uh, earlier combat missions. Um, they're not as difficult as the later combat missions, so I'll go ahead and buy that starter pack for 12,000 doubloons. Uh, I think it was for nine phases. Um, and then I'm only going to get halfway through the dockyard combat missions or just a little over enough to get me to Wisconsin. Otherwise, you're going to be throwing a lot of money at the game. Maybe you have a lot of money, right? Then I'd say like, yeah, pick yourself up some tier eight, tier nine, tier 10 premium battleships or a one in each class of a battleship cruiser destroyer and have at it. You could totally do that. Um, but otherwise it's going to be quite difficult for you if you're a brand new player. Um, in terms of just getting this ship in general, uh, the uh, Wisconsin, uh, I say she's probably uh, a green light, like go for it. Um, you know, a lot of players in the game uh, like playing battleships, right? And so then now to be thinking about a tier 10 Wisconsin, uh, a Iowa class battleship in the game probably has like a lot of people uh, really uh, excited um, about this ship. So then I would say, yeah, definitely worth going for um, just in general because um, just, it tends to be kind of like the history of these battleships, right? Um, so there's just a lot you can do here uh, with this. And I was trying to remind myself to make sure that they made a comment about the guns being relatively small caliber. They're four or sixes. So I want to make sure I was right, but it, it's kind of weird for them to kind of diss the guns. Like, don't diss the guns of an Iro class battleship. Okay, with that being said, let's actually walk through some of these combat missions as I'm going to give um, advice, tips, and tricks uh, of how to get through as I chose Dockyard instead. I regularly do that when I'm trying to go into combat missions and clicking on Dockyard instead. So there's going to be a lot of themes here, so I'm not going to go through every single one of the combat mission chains, um, but I'll, I'll go through and give you the idea of what happens, okay? So first and foremost, Always pay attention to completion criteria, uh, whether it is the um, battle type, or it is the uh, tier, or it is the ship class that will appear. Uh, now, sometimes they'll take away some battle types, like here you can see, oh, um, help in one battle, help your team cause 120,000 HP damage upon your spotting. And it's like, oh, only ranked, only random battles, right? So not in uh, something like brawls and not in something like um, co-op or asymmetric battles uh, so do pay attention when you are working on a combat mission chain I'm regularly um, each day I log on and I'm playing I'm working on some combat missions I'm regularly checking uh, okay what combat mission am I working on now uh, so let's say get 20 incapacitation ribbons uh, for me I'm like conqueror uh, I'll take tier 10 British uh, battleship conqueror because of her uh, 16 inch uh, high explosive guns, which wreck. Um, you could take Goliath, right? Um, anything that's going to help give you a lot of incapacitations because high explosive is what does incapacitation on any ships, not armor piercing. 
Um, well, I say that. You could use armor piercing and take out the main battery turret of an, a Salem on Salem engagement, as an example. Uh, Des Moines on Des Moines. Um, so typically, your high explosive is what gives you those incapacitations, whether you're knocking out an engine, steering gears, um, torpedoes, the guns, on um, a destroyer as an example. So then I'm going to think uh, in that mindset, and I'll get those 20 capacitations quite quickly, whether it's Conqueror, Thunderer, St. Vincent, uh, Goliath, um, just throwing a few ships out there uh, off the top of my head. British battleships are tend to be good in that regard. You could even do it with Des Moines or Buffalo as an example. Um, destroyed ribbons? Um, okay, get destroy 20 destroyed ribbons. Well, for me, I might be cheeky, and I go into co-op, and I take Marceau, take or Kleber, torps reload a little bit faster, despite being one kilometer shorter range, and I'll just sail up a flank, and I'll take out three or four um, enemy ships on that flank in my Marceau. Uh, that would be a very easy way of going about that. Otherwise, you know, in asymmetric battles, it's five versus twelve, so you can probably get a lot just more destroyed ribbons. Maybe they're a bit faster than you would in uh, randoms or ranked battles, as an example. It's important to note here with operations. Operations as a battle type used to not be in the dockyard, but then they made that change not too long ago, but it only accounts for half of your progress. So if you kill 10 ships in operations, only five are going to count uh, towards this get 20 destroyed ribbons. Um, so do be mindful of that. At least Wargaming is now including operations, but they were still, I would say, being a bit cheeky about it and kind of like, oh, actually you're not gonna get you know the full count there. Cause this is, so those, with that being said, you have three battle types here in terms of PvE content, and then three battle types in PvP. On these, on not all combat missions, but because you know you go down to this one and it's only PvE between ranked and random battle. So pay attention at completion criteria um, and what you're seeing here. Um, here, 1.2 million HP damage uh, to ships. You know, no ship class requirements. And then here, I can see oh. Now, usually what they do, they'll do this on every one. Uh, the first few will be in general, and then the last uh, four or five uh, will be specific to uh, ship type. Um, and that's where you see that uh, coming in. So that's pretty standard. So your first top ones are just tier five through super ship, and pretty usually pretty open on the completion criteria. And then as they start narrowing it down, restricting you, then that's where you can see the carrier, the ship class come in, and then even restricting you down to the battle type um, here at the bottom. Um, so damage to ships, take your damage ship. Which ship, which ship do you do a lot of damage? Um, whether it be ranked, randoms, clan battle, asymmetric battles. Uh, take your damage uh, ships where you inflict a lot of damage or you're doing a lot of damage farming. Um, Conquer, I can pretty regularly get 180,000 and above. Um, typically, I get about 200,000, so Conquer here. Um, I'm setting fires and I'm doing massive damage with the HE salvos and switching over to armor piercing because she's got a pretty devastating heavy AP broadside. Uh, ribbons and an aircraft carrier. Then, um, you know, you want to be able to take a aircraft carrier that has a lot of, uh, let's, you know, what is it? Uh, Malta? has a lot of the HE, uh, the bomb strike, I think it is. So there's a lot. It's not like Kikuryu or, or something. I think that only has two. I don't own a Kikuryu. Don't quote me there. Get a thousand ribbons in a battleship. Well, I'm probably just going to take Schlieffen into asymmetric battles. Um, and with my secondaries, that's not going to be an issue. I've had regular a asymmetric battles where I get anywhere from 800 to over a thousand secondary ribbons um, with Schlieffen. So that's an example. So you see me quoting a lot of these tier 10 ships because you can tend to um, get there faster. Now you could do this in Prince Ruprecht. Um, you could, um, you know, anything like GK, um, that's a coal ship. Um, but I say Schlieffen, in Prince Ruprecht and maybe even the tier eight one, which I'm spacing right now, um, just because those are tech tree ships. I'm not, I don't wanna only quote premium ships here on you. Get 1,500 ribbons. Well, I'm going to probably be taking a light cruiser. Um, something like uh, Seattle, uh, Worcester, Neptune, Minotaur, uh, Colbert. Actually, that's probably what I'll do on this one, which is a research bureau ship. Um, anything that has a lot of uh, DPM, a high rate of fire. Uh, 950 ribbons. Well, probably looking to take a hybrid or gunboat. So maybe I'm taking the tier 10 daring. I'm going to take um, Friesland. 
Um, a, a tier 9 premium gunboat. Um, maybe I'm going to be taking uh, Forrest Sherman. You can pick it up for call. I might take um, Harugamo, a tech tree tier 10 Japanese uh, battleship. Uh, destroyer, excuse me, not a battleship. Um, 250 ribbons with a sub. I don't really like playing submarines in the game, so you're on your own for that one. Let's jump to three. Let's see some other things they've got going on here. Yeah, then you can see here, get 120, 1,200 main battery hits for secondary battery hits, ribbons. So then, yeah, you could take out Odin, you could take out Tirpitz, Bismarck, uh, Georgia, Massachusetts, Ohio, uh, Schlieffen, um, GK, Mecklenburg, um, any of your secondary oriented ships. Michelangelo, the last dark yard ship, right? Because you also see a secondary battery hits here, and Michelangelo has the highest secondary DPM in the game, damage per minute. Um, maybe you take uh, the Aegir, you take Schroeder, um, just trying to take some tier secondary ships in the game, because you can see I don't have the class restriction on what type of ship. Um, earn 5.7 million credits, where well, I'm going to be playing my tier 9 premium uh, destroyer cruisers and battleships in the game. I'm going to be taking out, I was taking Friesland out last night. I, I lost the game, but I still got 1.4, 1.5 million credits, because I, I killed five of the enemy team. Uh, on random battles um, and when you're playing for credits and you can actually see clan battles kicks in here um, then uh, that's also a good uh, place to pay attention to but uh, I'm talking about credits uh, with the battle type you know you're gonna earn a lot more credits in um, randoms ranked um, you can do decent in ops. You can actually see here in ops, they don't restrict, uh, they're not counting half the money because you don't have that orange circle. Uh, so that's actually, I could take Massachusetts. I can take uh, D7 Provincian. That's it's another dockyard ship. I play a lot to get uh, credits in ops. Um, your tier nine uh, sh ships in the game uh, have the best credit uh, money-making earning potential. Don't Super ships are very costly. Tier tens are pretty costly. Uh, I'd say it's tier 9, then tier 8. So take, take your tier 9, tier 8 um, premium ships, special ships in the game. Earn 130,000 XP. It doesn't say base XP. It says XP. So is there a ship you're grinding? Like I took um, uh, San Louis, the tier 9 French uh, cruiser out yesterday with a blue ribbon, um, XP ribbon, and I got... 39,000 out of it, or I did an Alsace game with a blue ribbon and I got 28,000. So what ships are you grinding that you're putting those big uh, XP modifiers on, uh, right? Uh, so there's some help there. Uh, shot down ribbons with a tier 10 battleship um, or fighter. So I'm not going to be taking Yamato uh, as, or uh, Shikishima or um, Satsuma, I think all those have pretty poor AA as a battleship. Uh, so what battleships do have really good AA uh, in the game, where you're, typically speaking, your American battleships have really good AA, whether you're talking about um, Vermont, Montana, um, the Illinois, that's a research bureau ship. Um, Iowa has pretty good AA. Um, trying to think. Poison has slightly better AA than the GK. Um, yeah, any of your battleship where you're going to see that AA rating appear. So if I hop uh, back in support and I pick on Montana, then you can just take a, a quick glance. AA defense, 91. Um, I don't know about Vermont because I'm blind or Ohio here, 91, Vermont, uh, 90. Um, but I don't have the commander on it. Um, Delaware 87 so you can just take a, a glimpse uh, around and looking in here I think they actually nerfed Kremlin AA no it's actually 90 apparently it used to be stronger because they did nerf the A on this ship some time ago so just pay attention to your AA maybe you have a battleship that even has like a defensive AA um, and getting even more damage uh, in there as well um, let's kind of keep going here a little bit more Torpedo hit ribbons with a cruiser. Um, so then I'm probably, I'm looking at Brisbane. Uh, it's a coal um, ship, a Minotaur. Um, it's got 13.5 kilometers. Maybe I'm taking out Seiyang uh, or Jinan, the tier, uh, the Asian cruisers, uh, Pan-Asian cruisers. I could take Minotaur. Um, Minotaur only has 10 kilometer range torpedoes though. So any cruiser that's pretty torpedo heavy and reliable that actually has decent range. 
1500 main battery hits uh, here with a destroyer. Again, your gunboat destroyers. And base XP. So that's on a sub, so that kind of sucks. Uh, or in one battle, receive 3 million potential damage. Um, I can probably nail this one and I'll take out uh, Conqueror because of the super heal. I've had multiple games with over 3 million potential damage in Conqueror, or even Ohio I've done it, uh, Kremlin I've done it. Um, I think I've, I've actually done it a few times in Stal uh, Salem, which is ironic because it's just a heavy cruiser. Uh, Stalingrad, a steel ship. Um, so any ship that can take a lot of punishment that has pretty good armor or just like a really massive heal. Uh, let's jump to Temper Temper. <laughs> That's uh, a nice little uh, Wisconsin quote there. Um, I don't remember the full story on that. Basically, though, I don't know if this is during the Korean War, the Vietnam War. I know you guys will correct me in chat or give me the deets. Um, but basically, there was a small gun placement on shore that shot at Wisconsin. A shell landed on Wisconsin. Wisconsin responded with a full broadside into that position. And then there was like a cruiser destroyer at that um, signaled temper temper to the Wisconsin. <laughs> so... <laughs> Pretty funny there, but I don't remember what uh, combat war that was. Uh, earn five achievements. Um, operations ranked in randoms. So again, pay attention to that completion criteria. You can earn uh, multiple various different uh, achievements and ops, and they're not having you again here. So um, PVE players are probably pretty happy about that, I would say. I am. I like playing ops. Uh, 20 Citadel hit ribbons. Um, I would take Des Moines. I would take Salem. Uh, Colbert into co-op and farm those puppies because um, they have the improved pin angles I mean you could even possibly do it with Minotaur as well um, I think that you can get pretty reliable uh, Citadel hits um, uh, with that just does not care about armor or just sailing right up and uh, unleashing the fury with your guns into a broadside bot um, uh, 20 battles to join the top five of your team experience received uh, so this is, might be a bit of a challenge uh, for some, so it might maybe takes you longer to do that in randoms or ranked. I mean, ranked is only like 6 though, 6 v 6. So as long as you're on the bottom, then you're good. So yeah, ranked might be the easiest place to grind this as long as you just, yeah, you don't uh, land bottom consecutively. Otherwise, it's decent to do it in co-op uh, as well. So that one won't be too difficult. Ribbons, it doesn't say a, a ship criteria, um, so this is just wherever you may be finding yourself playing, so that will be pretty easy to go for. Like, if I was wanting to farm this one out really fast, I would just do Schlieffen, and I would go into asymmetric battles, and I would have it within maybe five, six, or seven battles max, probably. Um, that's just, that's me speaking. Um, 42 million potential damage, right? I pointed this one out early. So that's like a lot of Conqueror, maybe you even have the Linen uh, material, or Vladivostok, um, Stalingrad, maybe Moskva, um, Ohio, Yamato, Satsuma, um, Hanover, GK, Poison, anything that can just take a lot of punishment and has a larger hit point pool, like Montana could even perform decent at this, she's got an improved uh, repair party. It's not massive like Conquerors, but uh, you get the general idea. Let's just go and hop to the last one. I'm probably taking too much time on this, but I'm just hoping that this is helping give some advice, especially if you're newer to the game. Uh, 60,000 base XP, that's going to be a long one. So this would be like your ships that you perform. Maybe your more quote-unquote carry ships that you regularly get a high amount of base XP in um, that you perform the best in. Because that's what base XP is. It goes off how well you perform in the battle. Um, so you're going to get the most base XP out of uh, randoms ranked uh, clan battle, I think it's on the win. You, how much base XP do you get on the win in clan battles? I think it's 2,500 base XP. I think everyone gets the same. Or maybe I'm saying it too high. I don't remember right now off the top of my head. Um, well, you won't get as much base XP in a co-op battle, but your co-op battles are faster than a random battle. Unless it's just a blowout random battle, right? 18 million credits. Again, take your tier 9 premium ships. Um... 3,000 HP of damage with Carrier. Well, if you're a Carrier player, you know what ship probably you're going to dish out a lot of damage in. Definitely not Implacable, I would recommend. Uh, not that one. Um, 3 million potential damage, or 3 million HP of damage to ships. 
um, in your battleships. So, uh, again, your secondary battleships can really shine here, or maybe you have larger guns like a Satsuma or Yamato, where you're just overmatching a lot of the armor. Um, but probably more your farming ships, um, where you're farming fires. Um, so, like Conqueror, um, Line will be okay, uh, Thunderer, St. Vincent. Um, the tier 9 one before St. Vincent, Duncan. Um, Ohio could even perform well, and Montana could do decently as well in setting fires, but um, you're really looking for a high fire chance there. So I'd probably do play a lot of Conqueror for this one myself. Um, da -da 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 -da. In one battle, earn one achievement. That's, that's not too difficult, but... Yeah, so with that being said... Um, We'll go back to the dockyard real quick, and I'm giving my closing comments now, uh, essentially. But um, again, if you're a new, brand new player to the game, it's going to be very difficult unless you throw a lot of money at the game and buying a lot of the shipbuilding phases um, here. Which, if you're going to if you're going to whale this, then of course you want to pick up this uh, full ahead and the smooth sailing that will give you 11 phases, um, and then. Um, then you're going to be buying these uh, after that. That's the best way, because I know when I start playing World of Warships later today, there's going to be... I'm already going to see a Wisconsin. Like, that just happens on the first day. Um, there are There'll be whales in this game. But if you're a brand new player, you, it's probably going to be very difficult um, for you. If you have at least a Tier 8 Battleship, Cruiser, and Destroyer, I would say you can do it. Um, it is possible uh, to do. Just it's going to take you a lot longer... Versus not maybe having a lot of those different ships, various ships that I perhaps mentioned and just randomly threw out a lot of names uh, on as well. But I think overall that this is definitely a dockyard worth going for. Wisconsin is just, uh, as a, an American, I want my American dockyard battleship. Like that's just not a, there's a bit of a bias there, but I think in general, like, I mean, Iowa performs really well. Um... And I'm really excited to see how the Wisconsin will hold up. Um, because play, playing the Iowa to get to Montana was a really enjoyable experience in the game for me. Um, so with that being said, we're just going to go back to port. And we're going to end looking at the beauty of not Montana. Um, not saying she's not a beautiful ship. But we'll end looking at uh, Iowa here. And I thought I already had Iowa pulled up. So that was a total misplay by me. Um, but with that being said, if you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe if you do want to see more. If you're subscribed, thanks so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you to my patron supporters as always. If you've got some tips and tricks, throw them down in the comments below. Let's help each other out. So until next time, take care.